Hey Sterling, I purchased six bottles of wood and got an email saying I can ask you a personal question. I bought your performance anxiety book, your How I Grew My Penis book and Sexual Dominance Escalation. I actually had two questions. One is how long does it take to recover from porn induced ED? If I stop looking at all porn and stop masturbating, is it 30 days or possibly more? So you're talking about if it's, it depends is the answer um, because it depends upon how long you've been doing it. It depends upon how long you've been suffering from it. it depends how fucked up your dopamine receptors have become. Uh, so basically you're talking about rewiring the brain. This can, I would recommend, I mean, like I would recommend cutting out the habit entirely for the rest of your life. So stop jerking off and stop watching porn for the rest of your life. But how long would it take for, uh, once you've adopted that habit, how long would it take to see the, see the before porn induced ED go away? We're talking about, uh, yeah, porn induced ED is like a brain wiring thing. So we have to redo that. Um, how long does it take to re rewire the brain? At minimum 30 days, maybe 90 days. Depends upon how fucked up your brain was in the first place, right? So, yeah, I would expect a timeline of several months, like one to three months minimum before you start, before you might see, you'll see it helping, but before it's like kind of gone, gone, I'd probably give it a window of at least 30, so yeah, 30 to six, 30 to 90 days, I'd say it was probably your uh, uh, reasonable window to expect uh, to see those results. Also in your 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 book, How I Grew My Penis, you mentioned the frenulum as the most sensitive and pleasurable part of the penis. Which sex positions are the best for stimulating that? Um, in, it kind of depends in which way your penis points, like is it straight or up or down? Like, so that'll kind of depend. I find, mine does point up a bit, so I, I have found, but I suppose this would, this would apply with anyone, with no matter which way it's pointing. I find that it's, I get the most pleasure when, uh, when she's in what we call froggy style. So like imagine doggy style, but she's laying flat instead. So she's basically just laying flat on her front and grinding into her from behind uh, on top of her like that. That for me tends to, to rub on that spot the best. Yeah, kind of more so than anything else that I can think of. That and spoon. When you're like so basically laying on your side, you can kind of do the same kind of grinding motion. Um, like when you're both laying on your side as well, you get a bit more uh, more control, and you can apply kind of more pressure. That's kind of what we're trying to do. Like apply pressure into her like that. Yeah, those two positions will probably stimulate it the most.